as the Hidden Gem City Professional Wrestling, El Paso, Texas, becomes the battlefield for what will truly be an end of an era. We are the Hoop Blades Q and welcome to the fifth installment of the Battle of 1985. Throughout the entire year, the men and women of the Hoop Blades Q put their lives on the line to get to this point. Tonight they'll be giving it 110% to make sure that their stories will be remembered forever. On behalf of the rest of the HQ, I thank you all for joining us on this historic night. In our main event, we have what is undoubtedly the biggest what if in all of the Trifecta Network. As the Overlord Carlos Aragon, the Prodigy Bobby Bass, and the Dead Heart Sean P. Wells square off in an explosive triple threat match. This is the first time ever these three will ever fight in an official match, and we will likely never see it again. It will be a historic night for sure, because on top of that match in our semi-main event, eight of the best women that the HQ have to offer will come together and fight for their spot in history. As in the Battle of 1985, they will put everything on the line in an effort to become the first ever Gold Star Champion. Like we said in the beginning, this is a huge night for sure, and will be one to be remembered. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road with our opening contest. As Casey Styles issues an open challenge to anybody in the wrestling hemisphere. Who will be answering the call? We'll be finding that out up next. Seen circumstances that is no longer the case. But she was still itching for a fight. So for tonight, she demanded an open challenge matchup for anybody in the back to challenge her. Considering how big the wrestling world is and how deep the talent pool goes, quite literally anybody can answer this challenge. And in a few short moments, we're going to find out who it's going to be that answers the call to go one on one against the measuring stick of the HQ. I mean, like, seriously, this is fucking crazy. Could be anybody from New Dawn, XWS, the UCC, PWN, anybody from the Takedown Network. It is mind-boggling how many challenges could quite possibly enter here tonight. And it's time to find out who it's going to be. The prototype lying in wait. Eager to find out who will step up.
legend among the wrestling world, Eve Heron, makes her eighth Q debut here tonight. For those of you that don't know her, don't let the looks fool you. She may look innocent, but she is without a doubt one of the most dangerous individuals among the entire wrestling world. Showing off her sadistic side among countless of major wrestling promotions over the years. And as she makes her debut here tonight, going up against another veteran in the prototype, Casey Styles. It is the prototype versus the pretty little psycho up next. just got a little bit psycho as Eve Heron takes on Casey Styles. Casey, a 12-year veteran with countless championships under her name, going up against a legendary figure in the pretty little psycho. The real question is, who is going to make the first move? Eve Heron. Taunting her. Casey Styles. Answering suit. Oh, Eve Heron with the shot to the face. And we are a go. This match is officially on. Eve Heron dropping her with those kicks. Oh, the scorpion kick to the nose. Taking down the prototype. Starting off strong, Eve Heron trying to get the momentum into her favor. Continuing to level down, Casey Styles. Turn away, that's with the punch. Dodges that strike, laying in shots of her own. Oh, a hard kick to the face, takes down Eve. Momentum evening out for the two, hitting the ropes. Oh, she tackles through it, drops her down, lays in those punches onto the prototype. Eve Heron looking to make a lasting impression here tonight. Hits the ropes, misses what she's going for. Casey, oh, the KS1 connects early. Into the cover. Two, oh, and she kicks out of it. Casey Styles bringing out the big guns early. Knowing full well what she has to bring to the table in order to defeat Eve Heron. To the back, picks her back up, lays in those shots. Spot Buster connects. Casey Styles gets pushed away. Eve Heron back up quickly. Kicks her in the gut, sets her up. Oh man, beauty fight connects. Looking to finish her off here. Oh, but Casey kicks out. Casey Styles still in this. Getting back up. This is that kick. Eve Heron catching her off guard. Hurricane Rana connects. Oh, man. Eve Heron bringing it out of quickness that Casey Styles is not used to. Giving her the edge here tonight. Kicks her in the gut, takes her down. Oh, tries to go for her again. Casey Styles kicks her square in the face, takes her down. Might have it here. Two. Oh, and Eve kicks out of it. Casey staying on top of her. Kicks her in the gut. Another one. Casey, though, picking her up here. Stuplex connects. This is that kick. Eve Heron back up again. Laying in those hard strikes to the face. Takes him down with the knee shot. She's not done. Hits her in the back. Again. It's crowded in a frenzy since the opening bell. Throwing her into the corner. Oh, but Casey dropping her down. 
with that forearm. Laying in those strikes. Kicks her in the gut. Another beauty fight connects. But she is not done calling for her to get up. She might be looking for it. Kicks her in the gut. Throws that thrust. Here she goes. Oh, but Casey. Hurricanrana. Hits the ups. Oh, and takes her down with that one. Dodging the black and gold power bomb. Casey Styles now stands tall. Looking to finish her here. Oh, those hard kicks takes her down. Prototype now gloating here. I don't know if that's a good idea. Another kick takes her down. The prototype staying on top for Eve here on kicks her in the gut. Hits the ups again. Catches her for another Hurricane Rana. Casey lays in that punch. Not done with her. Hurricane Rana again. Waiting for her to get into the corner. Casey running for it. Oh, hits her elbow shot to the face. But not enough to keep down Eve. Laying in those punches to the face. Eve Heron staying on top of her. An impressive showing so far from Eve. He's looking for something there. Eve kicks her in the gut. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a DDT. She is not done. Dodges the kick. Hits her in the face. Probably looking for that bloody Valentine. Casey Styles. Dodging it there. Kicks her in the gut. Oh man. Sizes her up. DDT connects. Into the cover. Only a one count. Casey Styles powering out of it. And this crowd is frenzied here tonight. As Casey, another Hurricane Rana takes her down. Now going after her vertical base. Oh, misses that forearm strike. Eve looking to capitalize here. Kicks her in the gut. Setting her up for another DDT. Does not go for the cover this time. Casey, kick her in the gut. Oh, dodges the kick. Eve Heron. Back and forth. Takes her down with that kick. Casey. Ah, looking to capitalize. Kicks her in the gut. Slowing down the pace. Into her favor. I think she has her. Kicks out at two. Casey Styles trying to stay on top of her. Eve Heron back up again. Takes her down with that big boot. She might have her. Another spine buster. I'm waiting for her. Kicks her in, hits her in the back. Sets her up. KS1 connects. Maybe for the last time. Two. Oh, and Eve Heron grabbing the ropes. Saving her from this match. Casey Styles is living. Trying to figure out what she needs to do to keep her down. Not calling for her to get up. Here she goes. Missed the drop kick. Eve hits one of her own. Not done with her. Drops her down with that shot. Another shot. Looking to make a comeback here. Hits the ropes. Oh, Casey. Gets hit with that kick. Eve Heron hitting it. Oh, the Hurricane Rana connects. Eve Heron on fire here. Hits her with that slap. Another punch to the face. Sets her up. Takes her down. Now just toying with the prototype here. Oh, and slaps her in the back of the head. Oh, and just like that, that sadistic side coming out of her. Kicks her in the gut. Setting her up for a third beautified connects. But once again, does not go for the coverage. Trying to make sure she stays clear away from those ropes. One, two. Oh, and Casey kicks out of it. Casey Styles 
getting caught here. What more do either of these women need to do to get the win here tonight? Eve might have it here. Calling for her to get up, kicks her in the gut. Here she goes. Casey Styles getting out of it here. Takes her down with the clothesline. Now looking to finish it off herself. Oh, gets caught. Eve Heron kicks her in the gut again. Throws her up, throw up, sets her up. Oh, she has her now. Middle of the ring. Black and gold power bomb. One, two, and Eve Heron walks out of here with the victory. Here is your winner, Eve Heron. Casey Styles walked in here expecting a fight. And boy, did she get one she did not expect to get in the form of Eve Heron. Congrats to the pretty little cycle for making one hell of a first impression. And that is one amazing match of the books with plenty more to go. As we move on to the namesake of this show, as Allen Anderson looks to defend his trifecta championship against the XWS champion Ron, the legend Buffet Extremo, John Russell, Cody Hagen, Joey Joe Joseph, Curtis Black, and Jacob Wells. It is our first championship match of the night, and it is coming up next. Joey, Joe, Joseph! Well, I 
and John Russell, Joey Joe Joseph has been in almost every battle since his inception. He was eliminated in the first, eliminated in the second, won the third, and went on to fight last year's winner for the championship. Tonight he looks to reclaim his former glory by winning another championship and adding another belt under his resume. Already being the first ever Grand Slam Hoopla champion. Looking to add the trifecta title under that name. Next up, fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the Hellraiser, Cody Hagen. And going from veterans of the match to people that are just starting out, Cody Hagen making his way to the ring for his first ever battle. Winning the chance to enter the match at War of Change against three others in a hellacious survival match. And now he walks in after talking a big game here to back up the top and claim the trifecta title. Doing so is not gonna be an easy feat. Going up against veterans, champions, and all-around psychos. We will see if the Hellraiser will be able to pull it off here tonight. like Cody Hagen enter the matchup at War of Change going up against five others from XWS's roster. Eliminating Mike Maxwell to enter this match. He has expressed his interest in this belt in the past. Tonight he now finally gets his shot at claiming it. Champion, 
Braun making his way to the ring to this first ever battle. Though he is no stranger to holds man matches, considering how he won that championship, he is holding. Defeating both Bobby Bass and Carlos Aragon to claim that belt. He has shown that he is without a doubt somebody you should not underestimate inside that ring. After what went down at last short, there is without a doubt a lot of bad blood between him and the trifecta champion. Tonight he looks to settle the score by beating the hell out of seven others and claiming that man's trifecta championship. And finally, fighting out of Yonkers, New York, he is the Trifecta Network Champion, Alan Anderson! Now the young Chris Python made this matchup for the belt, fully confident that he will be able to beat all seven men in this match. He is walking in here with a hell of a lot of spunk. And we will see tonight if he'll be able to back it all up. Or if he just beat off four, then he could chew. It is our first battle of 1985, and it is coming up next. Let the battle begin, it is on. Battle of 1985 for the Trifecta Championship. Let's get this clusterfuck on the road. Pick a side and focus on it. Because once everything goes chaotic, I cannot call anything going on in the ring. But I will try my best. Joey Joe Joseph down on the floor as Cody Hagen goes after Buff the Extremo. Turns his attention to Ron. Picking him up. Show slam connecting. John Russell going after Alan Anderson, flipping him over. Curtis Black now turning his attention to him. And Shake of Wells goes after Curtis Black. Hagen dropping down Ron with that power slam. As Buffy Extremo getting thrown into the corner. Joey Joe Joseph picking up Alan Anderson, dropping him down. Curtis Black with those kicks to the face. Buffy Extremo picking him up, dropping him down with the suplex. Oh, double punches there. Curtis Black taking down the champ. Jacob Wells taking down Buffy Extremo. Now shit's dying down. I can call what's going on in the ring. But outside the ring, Cody Hagen dropping down. John Russell with that power slam. Inside that ring. Buffy Extremo taking down Jacob. Dragon towards the middle. Jacob back up quickly. Throwing him at the ropes. Oh, Vinton with that knee does not take him down though. Another knee shot. That one drops him. Now going after Buffy Extremo's vertical base here, laying in those shots on his knees. Or knee rather. Throwing John Russell into the corner. Hard close line to the face. Drops him down, sets him up. Oh my god, with a forearm shot to the face. Taking down the bench for one. Buffy Extremo picking him up. Towards the corner, snake eyes to the next. Russell now throwing him out the corner. Ron, kick him in the gut. Catching his leg there. Oh, kicks him in the face. Extremo drops him with the forearm. Extremo missing that kick. Ron taking him down with the kitchen sink. Shaker Bulls has that bat, takes down John Russell with it. Ron climbing to the top rope here, looking for something big. Calling for Extremo to get up. Oh man, oh, hits him with the axe handle. As there's just absolute fucking chaos on the right side of the ring. Two count for John, or Ron rather. The XWS undisputed champion picking up Extremo. 
catch up. Picking him up as a cradle. Drops him with the snake eyes. Just look at that fucking cluster on the other side. Jeez. Jojo Joseph amidst the chaos. Gets back inside the ring as well as Cody Hagen. Joseph taking him down with the Russian leg sweep. Standing on top of the Extremo dropping down right with that backbreaker. Oh, Cody catching him off guard, picks him up. Oh my god, what a power driver. Into the cover. Two. Oh, and he kicks out of it. Turns that attention to the champ, takes him down with the shot. Look at him, eliminate him now. Oh, but he kicks out as well. Turns his attention back. Joey Joe Joseph picks him up again. Looking for a second pile driver. Two. Oh, and he kicks out again. The champ lying in wait. Kicks him in the gut. Stunner connects. First one of the night. One. Two. And just like that, Allen Anderson gets the first elimination. Thanks for coming, Cody. Now we're on seven. Alan Anderson walked into this match looking to stop mud holes and everybody. And he just claimed his first victim. Now turns his attention to Curse Black. Gets through up. Drops him over. Going after everybody here. Joseph on the middle rope. As John Russell picks him up. Throws him over. Joseph trying to go after Curtis Black here. Now two former rivals facing off one-on-one. -on -one. Hits him with the Hurricane Rana. Oh my god, a stunner of his own, Curtis Black. Two. Oh, and he kicks out of it. John Russell taking him down with that shot to the face. Staying on top of Curtis Black. Not done. Curtis Black running for him. Spears him down. Outside the ring. Alan Anderson takes down Ron. As Cody. Not Cody. Curtis almost had John there. Once again, another cluster of chaos there in the corner. As inside the ring, Curtis Black continues to decimate John Russell. Shots. Curtis Black getting caught. John Russell sets him up with that TKO. One, two. Oh, and Curtis kicks out. He's not done with that picking him up. Setting up again for a second one. Here he goes. Oh my god, but Curtis fighting out of it. Looking to take control here. Hits him in the face. Outside the ring. Oh, another stunner there for Curtis. Maybe for the last time. Oh, and he kicks out again. Curtis staying on top of Russell. Looking for another stunner. Gets caught. Outside the ring. Ron dropping him with that neck breaker. John picks up Curtis again. Throwing him into the corner. Missing that shot there. Curtis setting him up. Stops to the chest. Showing off that hellacious side from 300 blackout. As Curtis takes down Jacob Black with that cutter. Might have him here. Two. No, oh, and Jacob Wells kicks out. He's not done with him. Curtis Black calling for him to get up. As a sight set here, another stunner connecting. He might have him. Two, but again, Jacob Wells kicks out. The top gun showing he has plenty of fight left in him. The heat is dying down outside the ring. The pace is slowing down. Curtis Black going outside the ring looking for something. Maybe joining in the fray. He 
DDS, DDT to extreme up. Now it's becoming an absolute clusterfuck outside the ring. Ron throwing Wells back inside. XWS undisputed champion kicking him in the gut. Here he goes, sets him up. Fisherman driver into the cover. Two and again, Jacob kicks out. All right now, climb to the top. Calling for him to get up here. Might have something big in mind. Drops it with the close line. Looking to finish him off. Here he goes. Oh, the Jacob taking him down with the close line. Looking to capitalize. Kicks him in the gut. Here he goes. But Ron picking him up. Alabama slam. The undisputed champ still hot on his toes. But again, Jacob Wells close lines up. Inside the ring. Extreme up throwing him into the fucking barricade. Inside the ring. John Russell picking up Joseph. Drops him with the TKO. He might have him. One, two. And Joseph getting one up on the Pyongyang Grits here tonight. Now down to six. Getting taken out there by Allen Anderson. Outside the ring. Ron taking down Jacob. We are now down to six. Ron, Curtis Black, Jacob Wells, Buffy Extremo, Allen Anderson, and John Russell. Jacob dropping down Curtis with the brain buster. It is all out mayhem in that corner. Russell trying to spread out the spoils. Curtis picking him up. John reversing with those elbow shots. Sets him up. Back break for next. What the fuck did I just say? John Russell getting thrown away. Same with Allen Anderson. Buff the extreme up, taking him down with the clothesline. The match can only be won inside the ring. Is John Russell throwing Ron back in. Looking to join him. Catches up with a sling plate. Jacob Wells back inside the ring with Ron. As he gets thrown into the ropes. Alan Anderson there. Now teaming with, oh. John Russell getting out of it. Oh my God, what a move there. Love the extremo stopping Ron. Or John rather. Getting caught with the DDT. As now. The two champions of this match inside duking it out here. It's with the punch. Oh, a high knee there from Allen. Oh, and he caps him with the stunner from out of nowhere. Two. And just like that, Allen Anderson claims another victim. We are now down to five. John Russell. Throwing Jacob back inside the ring as Ron goes after him. Oh, a hard backbreaker there from Buffet Extremo. Jacob Wells grabbing those steps. He is into no good here. Knocks him down. He'll save those for later as Ron takes down Extremo with that punch to the face. The final five in this match, fighting near the announcer table. Jacob Wells throwing Allen back inside the ring. Turns his attention to John. Sets him up with the lost in the woods. Turns his attention to Ron now. Kicks him in the gut. Hits him in the face. Answer with the back elbow shot. Hits him in the back. Sets him up. Back suplex connects. As Joseph and Ron, not Joseph, Extremo and John. <laughs> Double team Allen Anderson there. Extremo getting back inside the ring. Jacob Wells throwing Allen back inside. 
getting dropped the neck breaker. John Russell now climbing inside. Alan Anderson lying in wait, kicks him in the gut. Another stunner there from Allen. Two. Oh, and this time, John Russell kicking out of it. The tiredness of the Python is starting to show. As that stunner was not as effective as the last two. John Russell now looking to make a pay. Belly to belly suplex. Now calling for the chat to get up. He has something in mind here. Picks him up. Here we go. TKO connects. We might have a new champion here tonight. Two. Oh, but Allen kicks out of it. Allen still has plenty of fight left in the match. Getting back up. Getting caught with the clothesline. Now calling for him to get up. Here we go. Setting him up. Oh, catches his leg this time. John Russell. Neckbreaker connecting. Now climbing to the top. Has something big in mind here. Calling for him to get up. Here he goes. Oh, double axe handle connects. Now looking to finish the champ once and for all. Here he goes, picks him up. TKO connects. Maybe for the last time. The champ might be out. Oh, and he kicks out of it. John Russell is living. Oh, he's taunting. Probably too soon. Jacob Ball sets him up here. Here he goes. Oh my God, what a lariat. Might have him here. Two. Oh, and he kicks out. Alan Anderson right there to pick up the scraps. Dropping him on his head. Ron back in. Dodging that blow, hitting him in the face. Kicks him in the gut. Oh, a hard punch to the face. Now turns his attention to John. Kicks him square in the back with that drop kick. Goes out. Oh, the buffet taking him down. Now has that back. Oh, laying in those shots. Oh, a shot on Ron. Thinks he has him. Two. Oh, and Ron kicks out of it. Extrema has to do a lot more than just pin him. This is a man that's used to this sort of extreme behavior. Gets him with that knee. Extremo getting caught with those punches. Russell looking to join in here. Drops him with the neck breaker. Ron now catching him off guard. Oh my god. What a urinaki there. Oh, and just like that, John Russell's been eliminated. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> Now going outside the ring, we have four left. Allen Anderson, Ron, Jacob Wells, and Buffet Extremo. These numbers are dwindling. Two champs still in this matchup, as well as a former winner of the match. Extremo, dodging that shot, picking up. Ron, dropping him on the back. Wells, getting caught with that fucking step. The fight spread out across the floor there as Anderson picks up the steps and decides to do nothing with it. Turns his attention to Extreme on Ron, leaving Wells to recuperate on the other side. Drops him down. Turns his attention to Ron, throws him back inside the ring. Uh, looking to follow suit here, the champs inside the ring. Ron going on the apron for some reason, eats a punch to the face, another one. Anderson taking him down with the hot shot. And once again, all four back outside the ring. Wells throwing him inside. Now turns his attention to Anderson, who catches him. Wells breaking out of whatever he was going for, flips him over. Extremo lays in that punch to the back of Ron. 
Picking him up. Oh my God! What a fireman's carry there. Oh, Jacob Wells setting him up here. Here he goes. Oh, the lever he connects. He might have him. Two. Oh, and the champ kicks out. Extreme out picking him up with that suplex. Turns his attention to Ron. Drops him with the DDT, busting him wide open. Focus is done on Anderson. Kicks him in the gut. Oh, sets him up. Another stunner. He might have him. Two. Oh, and Extremo kicks out of it. Extremo still in this match. But for how long is the real question. As Anderson continues to lay out the legend. Jacob Wells throwing Rod back inside the ring as Allen Anderson grabs a weapon, running towards Wells. Gets caught by Extremo, hits him with that clothesline, does not take him down though. Picks him up, belly to belly connects. Rod now trying to help. Extremo takes down Anderson instead. Now goes after him, sets him up. Oh my God! Impressive move there from from Ron. Now getting caught, looking for that lariat again. Looking to eliminate him. Here he goes. Oh, and Ron kicks out of it. The undisputed champ still alive in this match. Anderson back in. Gets him in the back, throws him into the corner. Oh, answers with a punch. Extremo drops him with the clothesline. Now looking to finish this off on his own. Climbing to the top rope. Oh, it's not going for what I expected. Here he goes. Oh, missed that cannonball. Anderson now looking to capitalize. Gets caught with the knee. Drops him with the headbutt. Ron now going after Extremo. Sets him up again. Taking him down with that elbow. Now Ron looking to finish off what Allen Anderson started. Anderson drops him with the clothesline. Dodges him with that kick. Ron with the sling blade takes him down. Looking to once again eliminate Allen Anderson here. Here he goes, sets him up, picks him up, silencer connect. One. Sin kicks out of it. I thought that was done for for the champ. Right now throwing him outside the ring. The undisputed champ standing tall inside. All the wells setting him up here. Here he goes. Seven heavy connects. Caught him off guard there. Oh, and it almost cost him dearly. Jacob Buzz laying in those kicks, hits the ropes, misses the elbow. Run now, looking to capitalize, undisputed champ with the Tiger Suplex. This fight is everywhere, back and forth. Any one of these four can become champ here tonight. Oh, Jacob Wells throwing Ron like it's nothing. Turns his attention to the champ, kicks him in the face with the knee. Sets him up, another stunner. Maybe for the last time for jo Jacob. And Jacob Wells has been eliminated down to the final three. Buff makes Trimo running in, getting caught with the hip toss. Ron setting him up. Silencer connects. One, two, and just like that, we are gonna have a new champion here tonight. And he'll either be the infamous Ron or Buffet Extremo. Oh my God, what the, what the hell just happened? Woo! All right, we got our final two here. They are amped up, waiting to go. Looking to decide once and for all who's gonna be the trifecta champ here. Buffet dodging that kick. Ron laying in a flurry of strikes here. Oh, 
Oh, what a Pele kick takes down Extremo. The undisputed champ knowing full well that the win is in sight. Looking to give it all on the line here. His throw Oh, what a throw up to the face. The man is gushing blood here. But it seems to only be fueling him here tonight. He's in those strikes. Another flurry of blows from the champ. Takes down Extremo again. And the infamous one standing tall so far. But he cannot let this deficit for Extremo be underestimated. Run. Oh my god. Staying on top of him. Extremo back up quickly. Drops him down and just like that, the match is turned on a dime. And that almost cost him. Extremo missing the leg drop. Ron into the cover. Again kicking out of it. And just like that, the match is back in the favor of the infamous one. Laying in those shots onto Extremo. The win is very much inside for both of these men. But Ron picking him up. Fisherman driver. He might have him here. Calling for him to get up. Here he goes, probably looking for that silent so hits a back elbow, gets caught, hits him in the gut. Here he goes, Ron sends him up, silent to connect. One, two, and you are looking at the new trifecta champion. Woo! Here is your winner and new trifecta network champion, Ron! This one is now two for two on big match situations, and I don't see that train stopping anytime soon. But congratulations to Ron for becoming the second ever Trifecta Network Champion. Whew. All right. Well, now we move on to another championship match as three of the best tag teams, the HQ square off in a TLC match for the Violence Tag Team Titles as the Blackpool Militia defend their belts against the Widow's Elite and their rivals, the Switchblade Sisters. God, what a match. That is originally holding the belts before the very team they're facing tonight. They defeated the LWO to claim the belts at Nuclear Winter to then lose them at the very next show against the Militia. They got their championship match back. And now tonight they look to reclaim the goals that they feel they were cheated out of. Person in the wrestling scene only having 
two matches under her belt. Her mentor, however, alongside the now retired Alice Kibble, are the longest reigning violence tag team champions in history. Holding the belts for almost two years now. Tonight she brings in the young blood in order to successfully defend her belt once again. And with the numbers dwindled, they might actually have a chance. Here we go, the title's hanging high. It is time for some TLC action. Now a two-on-two -two matchup. We will get an update on Will's Elite soon. Right now it is the Switchblade Sisters versus the Black Bull Militia. Oh, laying in those punches is Emily. Evelyn answering back with those shots. Emma, oh, hard punch to the gut of Connie. As Evelyn looks to help her, her trainee here. He's at the ropes, or corner rather. Both women coming outside the ring. Oh, dropping her down with the clothesline. Connie Bishop now going after the ladder. Coming back into the ring, Emma Switchblade. Looking for some plunder here. Grabbing a ladder of her own. Bring it inside the ring. Out Connie Bishop now picking up hers. Oh, dropped her down with that shot. Connie looking to finish this one off early, going straight to the point here. But Emma Switchblade getting pushed away. Connie Bishop. Oh, just hanging up high. Oh, and dropping down hard. Evelyn now trying to help her trainee. Gets caught. Emma Switchblade now. Picking her up. Oh my God, what a suplex on the ladders. Emma just decimating the rookie here. Evelyn fighting away from that chair shot. Oh, eats an elbow shot to the face. Emma Switchblade climbing to the top rope. Oh my goodness. Takes her down there. Misses that chair shot. Connie getting out of it. Now looking to bring in the offense on Emma. Throws her at the ropes. Oh, drop kicks her. Does not take her down though. Emily setting her up. Oh, a swinging neck breaker. Makes out Evelyn. Oh, running these shots to the gut. Connie reversing Emily. Inside, oh, outside the ring. Oh my God, backflip into a German suplex. Amazing athleticism there for Connie. But Emily, not done with her. Oh, it drops off the apron. Oh man, Emma, reaching for the belt here. She might have it. Looking to bring it down here. Evelyn Gregory fighting her off. Hitting her in the back. She might have her here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Taking her down just in the nick of time though. Who knows how long it would have taken that belt to come down. Evelyn now dropping her down with the Russian leg sweep. Emily going after Connie. Set her up, Herc and Rana. This is the kick. Oh, hits her with the punch. Emma throwing her at the ropes. Misses the shot there. Kicks her in the gut. Super kick connects. Oh, an impressive hurricane runner there from Connie. Now calling for her to get up. Something in mind here. Oh, just misses that shot. Oh, Evelyn taking her with the forearm. But not enough to keep down Emily. Inside the ring, Connie getting out of whatever Emma was going for. Her and run it to Emmy. Emma. Climbing to the top of the ladder. 
They're going to take the belts down to Emma. Right there to stop the rookie. Oh, and takes her down. Outside the ring, Evelyn might have just dispatched Emily. I spoke too soon. Awful woman now, outside the ring. Connie taking her down. Oh, a hard shot to the face. Turns her attention to Emily, misses the kick. Was trying to help her mentor there. Takes down Emma though. This is the drop kick. Evelyn going after Emma. Throwing her back inside the ring. Connie Bishop staying on top of Emily. My God, what a suplex. Oh, but they got their eyes off the prize. Emma going after the belt now. She might be close here. Connie taking her down. She's just hanging high, sets her up. Electric chair. Turnabout is fair play for the militia. She picks up Emily, takes her down. And just like that, the, the militia are standing tall. Oh, Connie taking her down with the ladder. Now setting it up right where she wants it. Connie grabbing the chair. Oh my goodness. Again, leveling there with it. She is not done climbing to the top rope here. I have something in mind. There she goes, calling for her to get up. Oh, an impressive crossbody there from the full out of Connie Bishop. Let's turn the arm. Evelyn Gregory now grabbing the chair. Misses the shot. Emma dropping it out of her hand. Setting her up. German suplex. Almost throwing her outside. And Emma setting up the ladder again. Picking up Evelyn. Has her right where she wants her. But Evelyn fighting back. There she goes. Oh my god. The headshot connects. That might be it for climbing to the top. Here she goes, going for the belt here. She might have it. Oh! Emily taking her down. Drops her with an electric chair. Now, Connie climbing into the ring. Oh my god, what a kick to Emily. Almost knocked your fucking head off. Both of the militia have chairs. Gonna dish out some punishment on the sisters. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a super kick there from Connie. Emily now looking to take her down. The loss in the woods. Back and forth between both teams. German suplex. And just like that, the sisters are back in on top. For how long? Evelyn Gregory picking her up. Here she goes. Another headshot. Now going after Emma. Throwing her across the ring like a rag doll. Again, displaying her power. Honey now focusing in on Emma. Sets her up. Her and Rana on top of the ladder. Again with the chair. The militia not letting up here. Doing whatever they can to keep the belts in their favor. Sets her up. Detonation kick connects. Now would be the time to go after the belts. Zedlin Gregory taunting them with the chair. Oh man, Emma with that kendo stick. Connie better get that back inside the ring now. And she does. She has her eyes set on the gold, setting it up. Well, Emily is distracted with Evelyn. Connie is on the top. Oh my God, wrenching at her hair. Jeez. Sisters, this is their chance to get the belt, to reclaim their gold. Oh my God. And they're getting over zealous here. This is a bad move for these two. 
They need to go after those belts and finish it off. Emily setting up the ladder. They continue to go after Evelyn, trying to make a statement. Getting completely distracted in this match, man. Oh, it's a drop kick. Connie Bishop now picks her up. Here she goes, another detonation kick. Connie now defending her mentor here. Picks her up again. Oh, my God, what a driver. And just like that, the militia are standing tall here. This might be it. She might have it. Evelyn Gregory takes it down. The militia retain their belts. Here are your winners, and still the Violent Tag Team Champion, the Black Bullet Militia. The sisters got too cocky, and it was enough for the militia to capitalize and retain their gold. We will get an update on the Widow to lead later. But congratulations to the Militia for continuing their glorious reign. And speaking of reigns, we got a big match coming up next. As Alexander Malfrex takes on Finn Balor in a faction versus career match. Stay tuned because that is coming up next.
review back in the third battle of 1985. Completely steamrolling through Jericho, Ron, and John Moxley, bringing an edge that the Rising Sun desperately needed. Then at the very next show, Finn Balor went straight for the throat and joined the rest of the Rising Sun in turning on Alexander Malfrex. Since that day, Finn Balor and the Rising Sun terrorized both XWS and the HQ, winning the Tag Team Championships as well as the Intercontinental title. They had heated battles with New Generation, which led to a knockout matchup World's Collide, where the Man King returned to bring down the Rising Sun of Peg. Since that very day, Malfrex has made it his mission to kill the Rising Sun. And tonight he has the opportunity to do so. But Finn Balor looks focused, knowing full well what's at stake. Then he will do what he finally set out to do from when he returned. And that is to finally kill the Rising Sun. Many have tried and many have failed. This road has been long and bumpy. Blood, sweat, tears have been dropped from all sides. And now tonight it finally culminates with the Mad King going one-on-one -on -one against the Prince. The fate of the HQ is on the line here tonight and it lays in the shoulders of Alexander Malfrex. Here we go, Finn Balor trying to start this one off early. One-on-one -on -one contest, Greer versus Faction, Alexander Malfrex versus The Prince. Balor laying in those strikes, trying to pull a fast one on the Mad King. Getting in as much offense as he can, throws him at the ropes, drops him down with the hip toss. Or arm drag, rather. Drops him down into the cross face, looking to finish this one off early. Malfrex fighting off, kicks him in the gut. Answer with one of his own. Ballard throwing him into the corner. Lays in that chop. Hits the ropes. Wrong kick to the head. The fans letting the Prince hear it. It is safe to say whose side they're on here tonight. Malfrex picking up Finn. Oh, drops him with the chop. Not done with him, a second one. That's with the kick to the gut punch. Dodges that one. Malfrex. Still reeling for earlier, trying to figure out what he's going to do. Hits the ropes. Oh, my God, what a mushroom stop there for the Prince. Drops the elbow. Finn Balor taking the fight to the Mad King, but the Mad King 
fighting back with those shots. Back and forth from the two, Ballard dropping him with the four. Another one, building some momentum here. Ballard has the Prince, has the King right where he wants him. Oh, he catches him. Oh my God! Almost takes his head off there, but he's too close to the ropes. Malfrex might have this match in the back here. Looking to finish it off early. Here he goes. King's landing. Here he goes. He might have it. For the win. Oh, my God. The Prince still has some fight left in him. Hits him in the face. Sets him up here. Picks him up. Reverse bloody Sunday. Ben Balor looking at Taunt the Mad King, you son of a bitch. Climbing to the top rope, sets him up. Coup de Gras! No, no, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Malfrick's still in this. This is the kick. Takes him down with that shoulder tackle. The Mad King now dishing out the damage to the Prince. Swinging neck breaker connects. Hits him with that kick. Pace slowing down in the favor of Malfrex. Picking him up. Oh, wrenching at the arm. This is the pace that he is comfortable with. Drops him down with that Yurinaki. Thinks he has him. Only a one. Mad King's gonna have to do a lot more damage to this man. Oh, a knee shot to the face. He did one King's Landing. What else does he have to do here? Here he goes. Looking for a second one here. Another King's Landing. One, two. Oh, and Balor kicks out of it. Malfrex feels the win in sight. He just has to keep dishing out damage. Goes him back inside the ring. Has something in mind here, calling for him to get up. Oh man, what's he got here? Oh, hits him with an elbow. Ballard dropping him with the forearm. Trying to regain some momentum here. Dodges the punch. Malfrex with the knee. Continues to dish out the damage. Not done hitting the rubs. Oh my god. Going for that seated senton. Balor looking to capitalize with the sleep blade. Just like that, Balor back on top. Going after the arm of Malfrex. Not done kicks him in the gut. Sets him up. Oh, the drop kick connects. Oh, Malfrex back up quickly. Going after Balor. Reverses him there. Oh, big drop kick there from the Prince. Continuing to lay out the king is Finn Balor. Throwing him into the corner. Finn Balor has him right where he wants him. Here he goes. Oh, the shotgun drop kick. Looking for the one-two punch, climbing to the top here. Oh, and he is showing off. Looking to put the final nail. Oh, he dodges it. Malfrex looking to capitalize. Takes him down. Another shot. Looking to make a comeback. Close line connects. Has him in the corner. Running forearm into the bulldog. The Mad King now on fire here. Setting him up. Oh my God, what a kick to the head. One, two. Oh, and he kicks out. The Mad King sees the win in sight. He has to stay on top of him. And the cancer will finally be ridden.
from the HQ. Let's go of him. Malfrex calling for her to get up. Here he goes. Oh my God, gets caught. Balor. Oh my God. You son of a bitch. Finn Balor. Doing whatever he can to win here. Bloody Sunday. God damn it. Two. Oh my God. Thank goodness for Malfrex. He is still in the match. Finn Balor can't believe it, throwing him into the corner. He has thrown the book at him, and Malfrick still continues to stay in it. Balor dropping him down with that shot, the drop kick, top to the top again. Good and raw for the final time. Oh, but he chooses not to go for it. Sets him up. Oh, but Malfrex fighting back. Oh, taking his head off there. That sudden hesitation might have cost Balor. As Malfrex looks to capitalize here, picks him up. Oh, my God. That was like a modified Bloody Sunday. Malfrex, the win is inside for the Mad King. He feels it. Oh, my God. Excalibur connects. One, two, and the Mad King has killed the Rising Sun. Woo! Here is your winner, Alexander Malfred. In November of 2019, this man created a cancer that for four years terrorized the HQ. And now four years later, this same fucker writes his wrongs and kills the thing he created. Oh my goodness. Finn Balor not at all happy, but boy is the rest of us. Oh man. Take a good look at him. Is this the last time you're gonna see him? Oh my God! That, that's Brian Pettis, one of the men that the Rising Sun terrorized, going after Finn Balor on his way out. The king of Texas strong style here tonight, looking to take out the trash. Oh my God! Oh, what a lariat, taking down the Prince. Making sure to give the personal goodbye to Finn Balor and the rest of the Rising Sun. Here he goes again. Oh, my goodness. Brian Pettis. Making his presence felt here in the HQ. Oh my goodness. Well, that outcome is definitely worth taking a drink over. Huh. We thank you all for joining us so far on this historic night. And it's only going to get bigger. Because coming up next, we have a brutal matchup featuring two of the biggest factions in the HQ. As new dons Jocelyn Bass, Extreme Carry, and Pamela Rose will go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Platinum Standards, Christina, Crystal, and Courtney. All the plunder is legal. All the blood, sweat, and tears will be laid out. And it's all gonna be off location as these six will be squaring off in war games. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for War Games! Now the rules are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting in the match. At regular intervals, 
alternating members from each team will be released from their cages. The first member to enter will be coming from the advantage team. In this case, it would be New Dawn. Once all members have entered the match, the war games will officially begin. The match can only be won by pinfall or submission, as by exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Christina and the rest of them will no doubt bring the war against Jocelyn and Co. It is our first ever War Games match up next. Games begin starting off in the ring are the leaders Christina Platinum and Jocelyn Bass. In about one minute, another member of New Dawn will enter the match. So Christina Platinum has to do whatever damage she can to Joss if she wants to get the upper hand against this team. Takes her in the gut. Jocelyn Bass throwing her at the ropes. Hits her with that super kick. She turned the cut. Christina Platinum catching her off guard. Oh my god, what a GTS into the German suplex. Oh my goodness. Throws her across. There we go. Time for another member of New Dawn to enter the match. This is about to become the Platinum Sanders' worst nightmare for a few short moments. Carey grabbing a weapon from under the ring. He's inside the ring. Christina regaining control of this match. As Carey continues to bring in weapons, Jocelyn Pass has her by the hair. It's the rubs. Oh my god, a big boot takes down Christina. As once again, New Dawn have the advantage, even more so now than before. It's only a 
minute. But it's going to feel like an eternity for Christina. She's back up. Oh, throws straight into the lines. Done. Jocelyn laying in those shots. Dropped her down with the belly to belly. Here we go. Here comes the help. The Platinum Standard now 2 2. Jocelyn climbing to the top as well as Carey. Once again, if any, if any one of them exits the match, that is an effective forfeit. Here we go, Courtney missing the kick on Joss. She is staying on top of her. Justin Bass flipping over, sets her up. Back suplex connects. Oh, and a close line. The odds are even, but New Dawn is still having the advantage here. Perry picking up. Christina drops her with that backbreaker as Jocelyn hits Courtney with that suplex. Oh, God. Perry climbing to the very top of the cage. Looking for something big here. Here she goes. Oh, misses the axe handle. Did not have that move scouted. Carey, though, still has the advantage, putting her on the ropes. Good, good stodge. Christina gaining some momentum here, picks her up. Oh, but Carey getting out of it. Sets her up. Oh, my God, what a suplex there. It is now 3-2. The favor still firmly on the side of New Dawn. Pamela Rose has that sledgehammer. It's not looking good for the standard. Oh my goodness. Just decimating Christina. Oh my god. In five seconds, the last competitor will come in and it'll officially be War Games. Carrie. Picking up that weapon. As, out, as look at Pamela climbing to the top. Looking for another big move here. Here she goes. Oh, hits the splash. And with that bell, pinfalls and submissions are now legal. War Games has officially begun. As Pamela Rose looking to dish out the damage to Christina, picks her up like it's nothing. Oh, and slams her down. Inside the other ring, Jocelyn Bass throwing that stop sign at Crystal. Pamela Rose continues to decimate the other two members. Oh, my goodness. Picks her up. Another suplex there. New Dawn absolutely decimating the standard here. They're going to have to climb one hell of a mountain to get back in this match. Oh man, Jocelyn Bass back inside the ring. That top down shot. As the war continues, the climb standard slowly getting the momentum back. Pamela Rose catching her. Oh, but gets caught. Christina. Oh my God, a tombstone of her own. Courtney Platinum climbing to the top. Here she goes. Sets her up. Cross body on Carrie. She might have her here. Oh, and she kicks out of it. My God. The standard getting this match back in their favor for the time being. Carrie fighting off Courtney and Crystal. As Christina laying out Pamela. Grabbing the weapon again. Oh, Jocelyn stopped the fall. Catches her leg. Oh my God. Courtney with that sledgehammer. Laying in those shots on Jocelyn. And she should probably look around. The rest of her team are not looking good here. Still fighting back against Carrie. Jocelyn. Christina getting 
caught with that swigging cutter. Oh my god. There was a sliver of hope there for the Platinum Saturn. But I think New Dawn might have this one in the bag. Two. And New Dawn once again defeats the Platinum Standard. Here are your winners, New Dawn! Once again, another dominating display by New Dawn as they decimate the Platinum Standard. That is one hell of a message to the rest of the tag division. Journey Through the Stars, live at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 p.m. Central, only on twitch.tv forward slash EWWF Network. Check out all those companies in the description. This undoubtedly has been one of the biggest years in HQ's history. And I thank you all for witnessing it so far. But we still have a lot of hard hitting action to go. And still to come in our main event, we have the dream match of the century. 
as Carlos Aragon, Bobby Bass, and John Keith square off in a triple threat match. The eight of Blue Plus Finest will come together to crown the first ever Gold Star Champion as they square off in the Battle of 1985. Then we have another dream match as the answer Tommy Finn looks to defeat the longest reigning champion in history in John Ryan Xavier. Those two square off in a Hoopla Rules match. Then we have two of the brightest stars in Hoopla's future squaring off the Violet World Championship as the reigning champ Tina Webb goes one-on-one -on -one against the rock star Christy Page. To kick off the second half of the show, we have some infighting among the clone and their clone master. As the rogue Apex looks to wipe out his mentor when he defends his Braveheart Championship against the clone master Draconator. This has undoubtedly been one of the most bizarre things to watch build up. But it's going to be one hell of a match to call. And you're going to see it up next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Brave Heart Championship. Dracona Tor is a maker of his own problems. His own greed is what drove him into creating Apex in the first place. A man derived from the past two clones, both stronger and faster than Dracona Tor himself. However, the one smart thing he did was put a fail safe into him that would cause the clones to decay over time. And in doing so, finally got a chance to get what he wanted this entire time, and that is some gold around his waist. But one's got to wonder if removing that bill safe from Apex only made the man stronger.
challenger, fighting out of Latvia, Michigan, Dracodator! Next up, the champion, fighting out of Latvia, Michigan, is the Braveheart Champion, And we're off Chrome K9 up for grabs Apex versus Dracona Tor. One fall to a finish. Apex fully healed after last resort. Going up against his clone master, Dracona Tor. Hard slam there from Drac. One's got to wonder when the strength advantage for Apex comes into play. If there is one, that is. Oh my god, what a punch there from Drac. Taking him down with one blow. But he is one resilient motherfucker. Oh, but he gets thrown across the ring. So far, the momentum's firmly on the side of Draconator. That time away really reinvented the man. As he continues to decimate Apex. Apex throwing him across. Oh, hard drop kick takes him down. Trying to regain some momentum here. Fans letting him hear it. Going after the ankle. We do need to take out the big man's vertical base. Apex throwing him at the ropes. Oh my god, what a drop kick. Sets him up, belly to belly, suplex takes him down. The momentum going back on the side of Apex. I have spoken too soon, Dracona Tor pushing him away. This is anybody's match so far, as both of these men know each other very, very well. Considering they're the same fucking person. Dracona Tor kicking him in the gut. Oh, an elbow shot drops him. Neck first on his knee. Impressive series of moves there for Drac. Drops him with the headbutt. Punch up. Gut punch, another one. Drops him with another headbutt. Continuing to land the assault on the champ. Champion not looking good here. Hits him in the gut. The knee answers back one of his own. Kicks him in the gut. Here he goes, picks him up for the power bomb. But he's not done, sets him up. Oh, a Samoan drop into the cover for the win. Oh, gets him that two. Victory's inside here for the Clone Master as he calls for Apex to get up. Here he goes, sets him up. Spirit bomb the next. He does not go for the cover. As Apex is getting up like it's nothing, sets him up with the spine buster. That momentum's turning on a dime as he picks him up for the Emerald Flosion. He might have him. Oh, and he kicks out. Draconator still in this match. But that Emerald Flosion definitely made him groggy there. Continuing to go after the man. Oh, laying in those punches on his head. Things are not looking good for Draconator here. Another elbow drop. Oh, hard shot. Floria strikes there from Apex, taking him down with the clothesline to the back. 
Cologne showing Draconator, his boss here, missed the chop. Drac picking him up, displaying that strength. But he is not done. Oh my god, picks him up for a power bump. Impressive move there from Drac. As he figure out, as he figures out what he needs to do next. It's in the gut. Apex picking him up. Has him in the fireman's carry. Oh, and launches him square in the face. Again, both of these men are evenly matched. Rack trying to figure out what he's gonna do next. Probably telling him something. Eats an elbow shot to the face. There he goes, throwing him at the ropes. Oh, but he cannot capitalize that. Draconator laying in those shots. Takes him down with another headbutt. And he capitalized, throws him at the ropes, trying to do something himself. Does not do anything with it. Throws him in the corner. And a big splash there from the champion. Apex staying on top of the Clone Master as he throws him back into the corner once again. Putting him on the top rope. Oh, the track kicks him in the gut. Sizing him up here. Picks him up. What's he going with this? Oh, what a brain buster for Drat. He's not done. Picks him up. Here he goes. Power bomb. Drops him down. Not done. Some moment drop. Does not go for the cover though. As he looks to put the final nail in the coffin here. Here he goes, has him up, Spirit Bomb connects. One, two, oh, and he kicks out of it. Draconator, trying to figure out what he's gonna do next. Look, look. Oh my goodness. We've seen him do this before. He might be trying to, no, oh, Apex. Fighting back here. Oh my god. Spraying the poison mist in his face. I guess this is the ref's discretion. As he does not disqualify the man. But Apex now has his golden opportunity here. Picks him up. And explosion. Does not seem to go after him though. Looking to show off here. Probably a very bad idea. He's looking for that final nail in the coffin here. Here he goes. Oh, track fighting back. Oh my god. Thumb to the ears. What's going on? Apex down on the ground. Two. Oh, and he kicks out of it. I don't know what track just did. But it does not look good for Apex. Picking him up. Throwing him into the corner. Drac running with the splash. Things are not looking good for the champion. Picking him up. Hits him with that chop. Dodges that punch. Apex trying to recuperate here. He is in a bad way. Picks him up. Here he goes. Tomahawk driver. He doesn't go for the cover. He does not look good, guys. Oh, God. What is happening? He is freaking, oh my goodness. His, what the fuck? Draconator might have just sealed the deal for Apex. Oh my God. Apex is completely deteriorating in front of us. Draconator is one sick bastard. Picks him up. Spirit Bomb connects. What the fuck did we just see? And just like that, Draconator walks out with the win. What the hell? Here is your winner and new Ray R champion. Draconator. You can
he's pushing the man's methods, but that just got him the victory. There is no doubt in my mind he came in here with the plan. And it worked to perfection as Draconator is now your new Braveheart champion. <laughs> I am still confused what the fuck we just saw. This is probably something I'm never gonna unsee. Look at the guy! He's completely unrecognizable. And one's gotta wonder what a world of pain that is. Apex running for his life. Trying to figure out, trying to recuperate or at least like survive this thing. There's probably one goal in mind for Apex at the moment and that is to survive. What the fuck? Bunkin' too soon? Uh, look. C congratulations to Draconator for picking up the victory. Uh, I'm gonna try and get move on from this. Uh, coming up next is our. Hold on, hold on. Whew. All right. Coming up next. We move on to our fourth championship match of the night as the reigning champ, the Black Widow, Tina Webb, goes one-on-one -on -one against the rock star, Christy Page. The final two of last year's battle not coming together to fight for Hoopla's grandest prize. And we're gonna see once and for all which one of these two comes out on top. Your violence championship match is coming up next. <laughs> I'm still trying to process what I saw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Violet World Championship! Being the showman she is, Christy Page walking out here with a very Texas-like attire as she goes into her second ever World Championship one-on-one -on -one match. She won the shot at last resort against the Player One Princess in what was a fast-paced, hard-hitting match, eventually coming out on top. But now tonight, she finally gets some form of revenge against Tina Webb after she cashed in her briefcase at Nuclear Winter. Tina Webb made her HQ debut at Bash at the Beach, going one on one against Tammy to qualify for the Battle of 1985. A match where these two were the final two contestants in it, only for the Rockstar to come out with the win and face Peaches in the main event. After Tina Webb, though, won Hell's Highest Daughter, she had a golden ticket to that belt. And boy, did she take it at Nuclear Winter, pinning the woman she is facing tonight to claim the title. The two women that are considered the future of the HQ now go one-on-one -on -one against one another for the Violence Division's grandest prize. We got a taste of what these women can do against one another. This is the first time they're getting an official one-on-one -on -one match. 
And it's going to be one hell of a slobber knocker that I cannot wait to see. It's all about that belt, the purple beauty. The rock star Christy Page, the Black Widow Tina Webb. One fall to a finish. Violet's world title match is on. Tina Webb starting off strong with that axe kick to the face. And laying in those shots. Impressive. Floria strikes there from the Black Widow. Taking down Christy Page. Both of these women are very well matched in terms of style. As both women are fast as fuck and heavy strikers, as you can tell. Tina Webb dropping her with that curb stop. Christy answering back with that kick to the face, back and forth from the two. Oh, hits her with that knee to the gut. It's from the gut again. Tina Webb. Trying to capitalize, it's a forearm shot to the face. Back and forth from the two, reversing each other. Catching her off guard here, sweeps her leg, takes down the rock star. The momentum slowly shifting to the champion. Tina throwing her into the corner, making a run for it, misses that kick again. Christy looking to capitalize here, picks her up. Something in mind. Oh, snake eyes on the ropes. She's back up quickly. Hitting her with the flurry of strike. Takes her down with that spin kick. And the champion basking in the glory. And she continues to dominate against the rock star. Throwing her on the apron. Taking her down to the outside. Tina Webb hitting the ropes. Ah, oh, she's just showboating here. Tina underestimating her challenger as Christy climbs back into the ring, eats a shot to the face. Into the cover. Trying to finish this one off early. Barely a one count. Going back outside. Tina following suit. Picks her up. Back suplex on the outside. On the unforgiving concrete there. Look at that padding's there. She would have rocked. You see, catching her arm, flips her over. Champion's advantage is in fact in play. Tina Webb though, crawling back into the ring. Just following suit, missing the shoulder tackle. Tina Webb looking to capitalize here, take advantage. Picks her up. Oh, but Christy sweeps her leg again. Turnabout's fair play, catches the leg, kicks her. Christy, oh, getting caught with that kick into the cover for the win. Oh, and she kicks out at one. Oh, and she goes out to the leg. Christy Pace doing her homework here, making sure she does not feel that kick again. She dodges that forearm. Tina Webb getting caught with the kick to the cut. Heading up. Misses that chop. Tina missing that drop kick. Answers with one of her own. Impressive move there from Christy. Picking her up. Catches her leg. Has her on the ropes. Hits it. Misses the clothesline. Running for it. Misses again. 
Just throwing her all over the place, drops her with the headbutt. Not enough to keep her down, though. Rockstar back up, impressive back and forth there from the two. These women are evenly matched here. Oh my goodness. Back up again, missing the chop. Kicks her, flips her over. Oh, having those hip attacks to the face. The Rockstar showboating here. Turnabout is fair play. And she hits her with that chop finally. Taking her down with one blow. Rockstar now gaining some momentum here. Picks her up, slams her down. Getting that forearm locked and loaded here. Taking her down. Impressive move there from the Rockstar. I think she has her. Oh, and she kicks out at two. That was a good blow there from Christy. Picking her up. Looking to deal, deal out more damage. Oh my god, what a move there. Christy Page picking her up. Another chop takes her down. Doing all she can to keep the champion down as she throws her to the corner. Oh, looking to get a running start here. Oh my god. You can hear that in the cheap seats. But she's not done throwing her across again. Oh my god. Eats two boots to the face. Hits her in the chop to the back. Tito Ebb catching her off guard with the Tiger Suplex. And on a dime, the champion. I spoke too soon. I was going to say the champion regaining the momentum. Gets caught though with the slam. Christy Page eating that punch to the face. Now taking those kicks and sweeps her leg. We may be midway through this match, but it's still anybody's game. As Christy hits her with that jawbreaker, cannot capitalize. Tina Webb laying in those hard punches to the chest. To the face. Back and forth from the two with the German suplex. Christy Page takes her down. She's back up quickly, though. Laying in those punches. Sets her up. Swinging neck breaker connects. Taking down the challenger. Tina Webb. Getting some much needed rest here. Again, toying with her. Champion now going after the challenger. Christy has her, throwing her. Onto the announcer's table. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. She is scratching at the eyes. Oh, she answers back with that punch. Throws her at the barricade. Goodness. Well, that is one way to get some payback. But Tina Webb continuing the assault. Going. Oh, throwing her to the barricade. Tina Webb getting the momentum back in her side. Doing whatever she can to keep her outside. Christy running towards the ring. Rev set seven. Coming back inside, not going out. Stopping the count for the time being. Smart move there from the challenger, throwing her into the post. Now, once again, throwing her at the barricade. Oh, she has something else in mind here. Oh, man. Putting her on there. Oh, my goodness. What a big boot there. She's not done throwing her at the apron. Ref's at five now. All Tina has to do is just keep her outside the ring. And she'll walk out of here as the champion. Christy, though, kicking her in the gut. Looking to win this match inside the ring. Oh, my God. Tina Webb, a fast woman, getting back up quickly, hitting her with that knee shot to the gut. But it's not enough to keep down the rock star. Goes over. Here she goes, locking in that lariat. 
The Rockstar finding her groove in this matchup. Calling for the champion to get up. She has something big here, my God. Flipping her completely over. Into the cover for the win. Oh, man. Christy Page thought she had it. But she might have something in mind here. Climb to the top. Here she goes. Getting amped up here. Tina Webb, though, getting back up. Now she was going to look for the Holy Diver. Goes after with the knees. She was looking for the perfect window of opportunity. And she has it right here. Picking her up. Oh, my God. That might be it. Two. The champion still in this matchup, but she is damn sure days here. Oh my god, with the knees takes her down. Oh! Tina Webb now, looking to make a comeback here, hits her in the face. Here she goes, sets her up, and it beat the next. Two. Oh, and she kicks out again. Christy Page still in it. This is the kick. That's just another one. Oh, back and forth. It is anybody's match here. It is winding down. Oh, eats a shot to the face. Again, clawing at the eyes. And that might have just cost her there. And, and B. Maybe for the final time. But no! Christy Page still in it! Back up quickly. Oh, but she cannot capitalize here. Eats a boot to the face. The champion staying all on top of her. Making sure does, she does not get any momentum here. Oh my god. a kick that might that might do it here she might have a shot picks her up here she goes drops her again one two and again Tina Webb kicking out of it she is back up quickly eats a kick to the gut Christy Page has to stay on top of her just like Tina did Showboating here from the rock star. Stay on top of her. Oh, kicks her in the back. She has to stay on top of her to keep this match in her favor. Winding backwards. Here she goes, looking for those stops. Gets caught with the power bomb. That hesitation might have just cost her the match. Picking her up. Oh my god. Oh man. Here she goes. Setting her up here. Oh my God! Another NNB, and that one seals her the victory. Tina Webb retains. Oh my God! Here is your winner and still the violent world champion, Tina Webb. Give me credit. Credit is due. Christy Page brought her a fucking A game tonight. But it still was not enough to keep down our most adaptive champion we've had to date. The Black Widow walked in here looking for a fight, and now she walks out of here still your violence world champion. As this match comes to a close, we now bring you the final three matches of the night. And to kick off the final three, we bring you the Hoopla World Championship match. As the answer, Tommy Fenn goes one-on-one -on -one against the outlaw, John Ryan Xavier. Your Hoopla World Championship match will be contested under Hoopla rules. The following Hoopla Rules contest is for Hoopla's World Championship!
a co-owner of the Premier Wrestling Network. Tommy Fenn is what you would consider a final boss in the wrestling business. Someone with immense strength, a very grapple-focused moveset, and someone John Ryan Xavier should not take lightly. As going into 2024, he has captured two world championships, and tonight he looks to make the Hoopla World Championship the third. He's walking in here with a lot of confidence, but I have no doubt that he is laser focused on what's on the line. Without a doubt, he's been studying his opponent, trying to figure out his weaknesses, and he is going into this with the game plan. There is only one first impression you can make, and there is no bigger first impression than on your first match becoming Hoopla World Champion. And surely we're gonna find out if Tommy Finn truly is the answer to the reign of John Ryan Xavier. John Ryan Xavier is both the two-time and longest reigning Hoopla World Champion in history. Winning his first reign at the very first show in 2018. He then went on to hold it through 2019 and losing it in 2020 due to a screwy finish against Alexander Malfrex. Then about a year later, he entered the Battle of 1985, won the matchup, and later on won back into the World Championship. And now a full calendar year later, History repeats itself as he walks in here still. Hoopla World Champion. The man he's facing tonight is no ordinary opponent. And then someone that John Ryan Xavier has never fought before. He is 100% a wild card going into this match. We will see if this man truly is the answer to the reign of John Ryan Xavier. Introducing first, the challenger! Representing PWN and fighting out of the Gold Coast, he is the answer, Tommy Fan! And his opponent, fighting out of the wasteland, he is Hoopla's world champion, the outlaw! John Ryan Xavier! Everything the men do is for that championship right there. Hoopla's big gold belt. Tommy Finn. John Ryan Xavier, Hoopla rules match for Hoopla's world title. It is on. John Ryan Xavier trying to start off strong, gets caught with the belly to belly. Tommy Finn dropping him. A very fast move there from the champ. And that might have cost him early on. John Ryan Xavier fighting back, grabbing him by the hair, putting him on the ropes. Remember the way Hoopla Rules works. Two falls to win. Anything goes. Tommy Fan's gonna realize that eventually. As John Ryan Xavier reverses that fireman's carry into those shots. And then wrenching at the arm of Tommy. Flipping him over. Getting outside the ring. John Ryan Xavier following suit. With the answer. Oh, getting caught. Getting thrown onto the floor by the champion. Oh my god. Face planting him. Ben destroying the announce table. For what purpose, I do not know. Probably something dastardly. Tommy Fenn hitting him in the gut. Catching him. German suplex to the champ. Oh, and a big boot to top it off. 
Tommy Fenn bringing the fight to the champ so far. It's all about that important first fall to get the edge in this match. Tommy going at the legs. Trying to take down his vertical base. Kicks him in the gut. The outlaw throwing him at the ropes. Ducks under. Catching him off guard. Oh my god, what a power slam there for the champ. He's not done hitting the ropes. Leg drop connects into the cover. Two. Oh, and it, he kicks out of it. Tommy Fenn still has a lot in the chamber. This is the shot. Catching him off guard. Another German suplex from the answer. The champion getting back up quickly. Tommy Fenn dodging him there. Picking him up. Oh, man. Snake eyes on the ropes. Tommy now running outside the ring. John Ryan Xavier missing the dive. That is something very new from the champ. And it did not work out in his favor. But he is back up quickly, laying in those shots, taking down the, the challenger. So far, it has been a fast-paced matchup. Something I did not expect from the champion. He is 100% not in his element here, despite being in many of these matches. And getting caught with the neck breaker. Trying to go after those steps. Dropping down, leg drop on his arm. John now going back inside the ring. Waiting for him to come in. Picks him up. He's in mind here. Entering back that snake eyes with one of his own. The champion. Oh, shot to the back. Fenn rolling out of dodge. Trying to go after him. Sets him up. Oh my god, an impressive move there. Displaying the power of the answer. Oh my goodness. Fenn taking the fight to the champ. Oh! Spoken too soon, John Ryan Xavier hitting him with the Bulldog and a clothesline on the outside. Going to the middle rope. The champion doing moves he is not familiar with. So far 50-50 again hits him with that axe handle. He's not done flipping him over. Knee shot to the head. That is taking down many a foe. He does not go for the cover though. Drops the elbow on his chest. And the champion trying to figure out what he's going to do next. Again, neither man have a fall so far. Making those steps. I don't know what he's planning on doing here. Taking him into the ring. Tommy Fenn now outside. Trying to follow him. And he does. Hits him with the punch. John now has him on the ropes. Oh man. Oh my god, what a crossbody. Essentially choking him for a second there. Now calling for him to get up. Here he goes, looking for that big headbutt here. Oh, misses it. Tommy Fenn looking to capitalize. Oh, it's a big boot to the face. John waiting for him to get up now. As he grabs the steps, ducks the clothesline. Fenn now kicking him in the gut. Here he goes, sets him up. Oh my god, what a brain buster. The answer now getting the... Oh, I spoke too soon. Picking him up. The champion now eating a shot to the gut. Tommy Finn picking him up. Here he goes. Finn five connects. And he might have it here. One, two. And Tommy Finn gets the first fall. The champion now at a disadvantage. He is going to have to get two in a row in order to win here. Fan, all he has to do is keep the man down. 
Hits him with the snake eyes. Fenn's got this match in the back. He just can continue the offense on the champion. Bring him at the ropes. Oh! Hits the JK Superstar! Into the cover! Oh my god! Fenn kicking out of it. Oh! And answers with a brutal suplex there. Fenn has to keep the offense on the man if he wants to win. John Ryan Xavier doing whatever he can to get his first fall, misses it again. Finn now looking to capitalize, has him up. Here he goes, a second, Finn five, maybe for the final time. Two, oh my God. The champion kicking out of it. He almost lost it there. Tommy Fenn dragging those steps, drops him now. John Ryan Xavier grabbing that chair. Cannot use it as Fenn picks him up into the powerball position. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Slamming him on the hardest part of the ring. But the champ still fighting back. Oh man, throwing him on the announce table. Oh my goodness. Not, not again. Putting him on it this time. Tommy Fenn might have just been the maker of his own demise. As the champ picks him up. Oh my god, what a pile driver through the table. And that might have just done it right there. The champ needed to make get back inside the ring to get his fall. Making in. The outlaw not going for the cover. Questionable move there from the champion. Oh my god. Edge with the shot of his own. Back and forth. Trading blows here. The champion getting offense in. Sets him up. Belly to back suplex. The champion now, looking to get some momentum back. Eats an elbow to the face. Fenn now, picking him up. Oh my god, what a move from the answer. Thinks he has him for the win. Oh, and he kicks out again. Fenn has the win in his fingertips. He just needs to find the right move to keep the man down. Then picking him up. Throwing him at the ropes. Hits him down with the clothesline. Oh, he's getting amped up here. Waiting for the, the champion to get up. He's got something big in mind here. Oh, another clothesline takes him down. Continuing to dish out as much damage as possible. Picking him up again. Throwing him at the corner. Oh, misses whatever he was going for. Gets caught up on the top. The champion winning in those knee shots. Just as a reminder, the champion still needs two falls in a row in order to win. As Fenn is one fall away from becoming the brand new champion. Fenn. Dropping him with that power slam. The answer climbing to the middle rope, waiting for the champion again and misses the axe handle. The champ now looking to capitalize, hits him with the JK Superstar from out of nowhere. One, two, and the champion ties it up. One, one. It is anybody's match now. As the champion continues the assault. Waiting for him to get up, probably looking for another one. Misses the close line. Oh my goodness. It is not looking good for the answer here. 
Fights back with the back elbow. Looking to capitalize here, picks him up. Here he goes. Looking for the third and final. Finn, five. One, two. Oh my God. The answer is living here. Throwing everything he can at the champion. Can't let frustration kick in. The champion might capitalize here. Trips him over. Oh, the knee shot to the face. Going for the quick cover. Oh, and he kicks out of it. The champion now going to the corner. Here he goes, looking for possibly the final one here. JK Superstar. One, two, and the champion comes out with the win. Oh my goodness. Here is your winner and still Ubaz World Champion, John Ryan and Xavier. That match could not have gone any closer. Tommy Finn brought the fight here tonight and he almost came out with the win. But it still was not enough to crack the code that is John Ryan Xavier. The champion showing some respect to his former challenger. On the pilot episode, he became the first ever champ. At the second battle, he successfully retained the belt. At the fourth, he won the damn match and became the champion once again. And out tonight, live in front of El Paso, Texas, he repeats history once again and walks out still Hoopla World Champion. Oh man. Well, we thank you all for joining us so far, but we still got two more matchups to go. And we're going to make history in the next one. As eight of Hoopla's finest square off to crown the first ever Gold Star Champion. Sarah Maple, Tia Blackheart. Oh my god, that's, that's the Widow's Elite from earlier. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. That's Lilith Black going after Sarah Maple here. Oh my god. She's got a match up next. But I think Lilith Black effectively just took her out of it. Oh god, now she's making her way towards the ring. Well, coming up next, we got our battle of 1985. As Tia Blackheart, Tiffany Lee Ray, Alex Steele, Lilith Rossi, Christine Ramirez, Kristen Adams, and Revolver Wolf would square off to make history as one of these eight women will become the first Gold Star Champion. What the fuck? The rest of us are wondering what on earth we miss If you're happy and you know it's stomp your feet real loud The rest yeah. of us could use some cheering up right now
perfection's coming out. Here's a front in itself as she lost to Tiffany Lee Ray to lose her chance at this match. But it's safe to say she took getting in by any means necessary to harm. And she decided to take out the Canadian Tornado to do so. Keep in mind, it's the 100% illegal. She should not fucking be out here right now. Considering the state that Sarah Maple is in, someone has to fill that spot in. And unfortunately, it's going to be this woman. Q debut at Hoopla Takeover Night City being the mystery opponent for Kristen Adams. Beating her and becoming the first person to enter this matchup. And now she looks to make history and win the big one by becoming the first gold star champion. Unfortunately for her, the competition is stiff. And the woman she beat is in the matchup as well. The Cyber Cat did the hard route to make it to this match. And unlike Lilith Black, she managed to earn her shot at last resort. Now all she's got to do is survive seven others and claim the prize that she has her sights dead set on. She's a very resilient woman and compared to the other competitors, very, very fast. But she is going up against some tough hitters. And among them, some previous contestants of former battles. This will be the leader of the LWO's third consecutive battle. And if the rule of threes is anything to work with, she might be able to win it here tonight and bring in another title belt to the LWO. But standing against her are some people that she has fought before. One of those being the real shooter, Lilith Crossy. Second battle of 1985 under this same persona going up against Melissa Sin and Sasha Banks. Now, almost five years later, she walks in to another battle of 1985 under the demon moniker. Something that brings her immense strength and speed. 
and something she might just need to win this match up here tonight. She is going to this match locked and loaded, bring in all the big guns. Now all she's got to do is fire on all cylinders, take out seven others, claim her grand prize and enter herself into the history books as the inaugural Gold Star Champion. Herself is that woman coming out now, Tia Blackheart. Next up, fighting out of Hill Temple Hill, North Carolina, she is Marisa Tia Blackheart. Originally scheduled to compete at Night City, Tia Blackheart made one hell of a first impression at World Change going up against five other women from across the wrestling world. Taking on the likes of Ellie Danger, Amber Young, Alexia Outright, Machine Gun, Bubblegum, and Caitlin Black. But it's Blackheart that came out with the win, and now tonight, she aims to make a name for herself, etching herself in the history books by becoming the first ever Gold Star Champion. Of all the women coming up in the wrestling world, this is definitely one to keep an eye on. And we're gonna see why in a few short moments. than the living dead girl Tiffany Lee Ray. As this woman became the first winner of the Women's Battle of 1985. Then going on to beat the champion, Hallie Jones. Then in that same reign, went on to win the XWS Women's Championship, becoming the first person to ever hold both the Violence World title and the XWS belt at the same exact time. She then had one hell of a death match in XWS. And since then has shown that she is the final boss in any big match situation. And tonight will be no different. As she enters her second ever battle, eyeing another piece of gold. And on a mission to claim seven other victims. History is going to be made up next. And a legend is going to be born. As our final clusterfuck of a match comes up next.
And we are off our semi-main event of the night for the inaugural Gold Star Championship match. The Battle of 1985 is on. Our contestants duking it out. Lilith Black, Revolver Wolfwood, Lilith Rossi, Kristen Adams, Christine Ramirez, Alex Steele, Tia Blackheart, and Lilith Rossi square off. Oh, I forgot. Tiffany Lee Ray. I can never forget Tiffany Lee Ray. It is going to be a lot of hard-hitting action in the ring. So I'm going to call as much as I can as Wolfwood lays in those knee strikes on Alex Steele. Tia Blackheart swinging neck breaker on Christine. As Rossi hits a DDT on Wolfwood. An impressive powerbomb there from Tia. As I said before, so much shit going on at once, it is going to be hard to call this match. Oh my goodness. Rossi outside the ring as the other seven fight inside. Shit will start to get under control eventually. But for now, pick a side and focus on it. Because as shit starts moving outside the ring, I'm going to be calling what's inside. Wolfwood almost taking out a rival in Lilith Black as Tiffany. Oh my God, snapping on the neck of Rossi. Turns her attention to Wolfwood now, eats a back double shot to the face. Goes over to Rossi, takes her down. Missing that clothesline. Tiffany throwing her at the ropes. Oh, setting her up for the deep six. As Rossi misses that drop kick. Continuing to focus in on Tiffany Lee right with those double boots. That goes after Wolfwood. Answer with the brain buster. Getting out of dodge is Wolfwood. Rossi following suit outside the ring. Alex still trying to go after Blackheart. It's inside. Tiffany goes after the woman she eliminated at Golden Beginnings. It is essentially a rematch in the middle of the ring. She sets her up on another deep six outside the ring. Kristen Adams with the pedigree, as well as Rossi with the suplex. Tiffany throwing Lilith at the ropes, ducking under, jumping over, has something big in mind here. Picks her up with a choke slam from the living dead girl. Kristen Adams all with the moonsault to her. Taking her down. Impressive move there from the Cyber Cat. As she goes after Christine Ramirez. Oh, Black focusing in on her rival. Oh man, there's a hockey stick. Oh! Wolfwood getting out of dodge there, picks her up. Oh, power bomb connects. As Blackheart has her up. Oh my god, a muscle buster from Tia. But Wolfwood landing in those knee strikes to her stomach. Turns his attention to Alex. Lays in those shots. She sets her up. Pump handle. Gut buster into the cover. Oh, only a one count. Chris Adams now going after Alex. Oh, a hard kick to the face. Sets her up. Oh my god. An impressive move there from the Cyber Cat. She is staying on top of her. Throws her up. Oh, two boots to the face. Takes her down. Another big boot to the face. Tiffany Ray going after Lilith Black. As Christine goes after Wolfwood. And Blackheart throwing Rossi back inside the ring. Impressive stunner there from Christine on Alex. Looking to eliminate her here. And she does. Thank you for coming, Alex Steele. Being the first woman eliminated, we are down to seven. Rossi picking up Kristen. Hitting her with the suplex. Now turns her attention to Christine. Lays in those shots. Takes her down with that blow. Turns her attention to Tiffany, gets caught with the kick. As outside the ring, Wolfwood is choking the life out of Tia. 
as Tiffany looks to eliminate Christine to no avail. If he did not pick it up. Oh, hard frog shot to the face, not done with her. Oh, what a kapow, kick to the head, into the cover. Two. Oh, and Christine kicks out of it. Belly to back suplex to Rossi from the outside as Wolfwood hitting her with the dead shot. Looking to eliminate her. Two. Oh, and Lilith Black kicks out of it. Tiffany. Oh, the running knee to her head. Looking to take out Christine. One, two. And for the third year in a row, Christine Ramirez has been eliminated. Tiffany Lee Ray on a mission tonight. Looking to claim some more gold. Going after Lilith Black now. As outside Kristen Adams. Setting up Tia Blackheart with that impressive maneuver. As Rossi goes after Black now. Picking her up. That's something in mind here. Oh, gets caught with the DDT instead. Tiffany Lee Ray hitting. Wolf look at the crucifix. Turns her attention to Black now. As I thought she was going after the sledgehammer. Oh, eats a big knee shot from Tia. As inside, Roxy looking to eliminate Black. Oh, does not get it. Kristen going outside the ring. As Rossi throws Wolfwood into the corner. Into with the forearm. Oh man, she's setting her up here. Oh, shot the knees. But Black there looking to capitalize. Gets pushed away. Catches her off guard. Picks her up. Bloody Sunday connects. Using her own move against her. One. Two. Oh, and she kicks out of it. Turns her attention to her rival. Misses the kick. Wolfwood looking to capitalize here. Fall away slam. Now going after Rossi with the DDT. She now has Black all to herself. She hits her with the D. Back and forth from the two. Picks her up. Now taking her towards the corner. Snake eyes on the top rope. Oh my god. Now just beating the hell out of Wolfwood dodges it there. Catch Struff with the big kick. Knee strike to the head. And that just kills the momentum for Wolfwood for the time being. As she picks her up, kicks her in the gut. Oh, dodge the running knee. That might have been the opening for Wolfwood. As she calls for her to get up here. Here she goes. Sets her up. Dead shot connects. One, two. And Wolfwood has eliminated Lilith Black. And just like that, we're now down to five. Lilith Rossi, Whitney Wolfwood, Tiffany Lee Ray, Kristen Adams, and Tia Blackheart. It is still anybody's matchup here. As Wolfwood is setting up Rossi here. Here she goes. Oh, dodge the hollow point. Rossi now eating a knee shot. Getting thrown at the ropes, ducks under. Picks her up. Oh my God. Now turns her attention to Tiffany, laying in those punches. As Tia Blackheart with that kendo stick to the head. Looking to eliminate her now. Oh, two count. Tia almost had it there. Now picking up. Wolfwood dodges the chop there. Hits the ropes. Oh, drops her with that lariat. Doesn't capitalize. Kicks her in the gut. DDT connects. Is outside the ring. Kristen continues to decimate Rossi. Gets caught by Tiffany. Wolfwood. Buck shot. Lariat to Tia. Looking to eliminate her here. Two. Oh, and she kicks out of it. Tia Blackheart still in this matchup. Kicks her in the gut. Sets her up. Oh, what a DDT from Tia. 
The Wolf went back up quickly. Eats a knee shot. Sets her up. Poison Rana from the Reaper. Looking for her to get up now. Oh, has her. Never locked for first. DDT connecting. Wolfwood and Tia not going to the outside here. Oh, eats a knee shot. Sets her up. Oh, what a shoulder tackle from Wolfwood. And now Wolfwood, the only person left standing inside the ring. Grabbing the kendo stick, possibly looking to join them outside. And the brawl on the outside has just gotten heavier. Kristen, kicking Wolfwood, setting her up here. Pedigree on the outside as Tiffany goes after Rossi. They're the only two in the ring. Tiffany, oh, catching her off guard. Has her in the iron claw. Looking to siphon the demon out of Rossi. She's had it on for a while. Now dropping her to a seated position as she continues to suck the life out of Rossi. Good God, she's had it on for a while. Oh my God. Changing before our very eyes, Rossi has been eliminated. The Living Dead girls essentially exercising Lilith Rossi. Now looking to join the fight on the outside. We're down to four. Tia Blackheart, Kristen Adams, Whitney Wolfwood, and Tiffany Lee Ray. Oh my God. What a suicide dive there. As Tia throws Kristen back inside the ring. Wolfwood now looking to go on the assault. Picking her up. Oh, another gut buster. Miss Tiffany. Focusing in on Kristen. Turn the gut. Oh, Floria strikes from the living dead girl. Dropping her with the Meteora. It's outside the ring. Tia Blackheart and Wolfwood continue to stay on one another. Kristen Adams looking to gain some momentum here. Throwing Tiffany into the corner. Oh my god, a big kick. Throwing her away. This would be a huge burst of momentum for Kristen Adams as she manages to eliminate Tiffany Lee Ray. Picks her up, kicks her in the gut. Oh my God, what a big drop kick there from Tiffany. This is with the kick. Kicks her in the gut. Here she goes, picks her up. Brain Buster connects. Trying to recover in the corner. Lying and waiting for Tiffany Lee Ray. Oh my God. Taking her down into the cover. Looking to eliminate her. Oh, and Tiffany kicks out of it. Wolfwood and Tia continue to duke it out outside the ring. Back and forth from the two. Oh my God, what a neck breaker. Inside the ring. My God, out, never mind, outside the ring. Wolfwood laying it in to Tia with that kendo stick. As Tiffany picking her up. Oh my God, what a dominator. Looking to eliminate the Cybercat. Oh, and she kicks out. Wolfwood now joining them in the ring. Catches her with the sickle. Looking to take out the living dead girl now. But Tiffany laying in those punches, getting out of dodge. As her in a chokehold, sweeps her leg down. Oh man, Chris did kick her in the gut, setting her up here. Oh, but Tiffany fighting back. Oh, it's a drop kick from the Cyber Cat. Oh, it answers with a super kick from Tia. Climbing to the top rope. Oh man, oh, misses the headbutt. Kristen now looking to capitalize. 
Oh, Locky in her legs here. Oh, my God. Kristen Adams very much tired out. She has climbed to the top. Calling for Tia to get up. There she goes. Catching her. Oh, my God. What a hurricane runner. Two. Oh, and she kicks out. Kristen now turning her attention to Wolfwood as she makes the cover on Tiffany. Oh, two count again. Missing that shot. Gets caught with the lariat. Turns her attention to Wolfwood. Gets caught with the zigzag. Goes after Tiffany with the neck breaker. And now they have switched places to Blackheart and Wolfwood inside as the other two on the outside. Kristen getting in the ring. Gets her with the drop kick, has her on the middle rope. Looking to go after Blackheart now. Tiffany back in the ring, eyes set on Kristen. She hits the ropes, going for the 619, gets caught. Tia Blackheart dropping her down. Staying on target, focusing in on Kristen. Kicks her in the gut. Here she goes, sets her up, buckshot Lariat. Oh my God, an impressive move there from Kristen. Both women going for the cover. And both women coming up short. An impressive tandem moves there from the two. As Tia takes down Kristen again. Oh, and again, Tiffany kicking out of it. Got Tia with that chair going after Kristen. As Wolfwood gets that kendo stick, gets caught on the barricade. <laughs> Tiffany just laughing at her. I'm gonna go for something here. Picks her up. Oh, slaps her down. Tia trying to figure out what she's gonna do next. She's got her eyes set on Tiffany. In the gut, Wolfwood throwing her back inside the ring. Tiffany Lee Ray with the bulldog on Wolfwood. Kristen focusing on Tia, gets caught up with the mushroom stun into the cover. One, two, oh, and she gets out of it. Tia Blackheart staying on top, climbing to the top rope, looking for something big. Oh, the headbutt connects. She does not go for the cover, has something else in mind. Laying in those punches, kicks her in the gut. It's throws. Oh, what a swinging neck breaker. And for the time being, she was all over Kristen. Sweeping her leg into the cover. Only a two count. Kristen Adams going outside the ring, looking to grab that chair. Oh, she gets caught with the lariat as inside the ring, Tia. Going after Tiffany with another impressive maneuver there. She is not done with her, going after her leg. Has her locked into submission. Going after her legs. Kristen Adams kicking, Wolfwood in the gut, setting her up. 13th dimension, looking to eliminate her. Two, oh, and Wolfwood kicks out of it. She is shocked. Tia setting her up. Butterfly DDT. That's what won her the match earlier. And that's what gets her the elimination here. Tia Blackheart now grabbing the chair. Final three. Turning your attention to Tiffany. Tiffany. Backbreaker to Tia. Now grabbing the kendo stick once again. Wolfwood. Laying it into Tiffany. Oh, reverses her. Now has the kiddo stick on her own. Gets caught with the super kick. Tia now. Russian leg sweep. And laying in those punches on Wolfwood. Oh my god. Now dishing out damage with that chair. It's brutalizing Wolfwood. Tiffany Lee Ray with the poison miss to the face. Two. Oh, and Tia kicks out of it. 
She is 100% blinded after that as Tiffany continues to decimate her. Dodges that elbow. Tia looking to recuperate. Misses there into the clothesline. She is not in a good way here. Wolfwood saving her for the time being. Hits the ropes. Eats that shoulder tackle. Drops her with the lariat. Now it's Tia and Wolfwood going one on one. Missing the crossbody. Tia looking to capitalize into the cover. Two. And she kicks out of it. Tia Blackheart 100% still groggy after that poison miss. Oh, it's a forearm. Tiffany staying on top. Gets caught, thrown over. Tia, knee shot to the head. Gets caught with the kick. Tia Blackheart missing the knee. Kicks her in the gut, sets her up. Butterfly DDT. Looking to eliminate her, but Tiffany stopping the fall for whatever reason. You see those kicks dropping her down. Oh, a hard four on Tiffany. Tia now climbing to the top. Calling for her to get up. That's something big in mind here. Oh, a big kick there from Tia. Think she has her. Gets caught with the two. As Wolfwood trying to go after her. Eats those punches. Kicks her. Here she goes. Another impressive move. I don't even know what the fuck to call that. She does not go for the cover there. Throws her into the corner. Teal with a big boot to the head. And the Reaper standing tall as Tiffany with the chair. Takes her down. Tiffany now. Going for the cover, looking to eliminate Wolfwood. And she almost had it there. Very close there for Wolfwood. And so with the clothesline. Tia with the candlestick, laying in those shots on Wolfwood. Laying in those punches. Tia now getting caught, dropping her down. Eats a forearm shot to the head. As it's now Tiffany and Tia inside the ring. Tiffany back up quickly, gets caught, picks her up. Oh my god! What a cutter there from Tia. Looking to eliminate her. Oh, and she almost had it. Tia Blackheart staying on top of the living dead girl. Throws her out the corner. Wolfwood back inside the ring looking to take her out here. Picks her up. Power slam to the... Oh, that was a backbreaker if anything. Catches her. Oh, hard punch to the face. Takes her down. Now Tiffany looking to capitalize here. Kicks her in the gut. Sets her up. Code red connects. Does not go for the cover though. Picks her up. Catching her off guard. Has her in the iron claw. Oh, but Tia stopping the submission for whatever reason. Hits her with the forearm. Oh, big boot to the head. Takes her down. But she is not done with Tiffany. Throwing her across the ring. Another big boot. She is not giving the living dead girl any wiggle room here. Again throwing her into the corner for another big boot. Tia now setting her up, has something in mind here. Throwing out to the court, probably looking for a fourth one. Gets caught with the punch. Wolfwood now looking to capitalize from that, picks her up. Here she goes. Dead shot connects. One, two. And Wolfwood pulled off the test that I thought was going to be impossible for any of these women, and that is to eliminate the living dead girl. But now we're down to the final two. Whitney Wolfwood versus Tia Blackheart. One of these two will etch themselves into the history books as the first ever Gold Star Champion. And it's tied one to one here.
Kicks her in the gut. Picks her up. Oh, a deep power bomb there. And it almost got her the win. Let's see a black card getting back up. Dodges that punch. Look at the guy fly sweeps her leg. Sends her up into the STF. Very close to the ropes, but she is not reaching for him. Wolfwood fighting out of it. One of these two women will be walking out of here with the belt, and Tia Blackheart looks to make it her. Impressive move there from Tia. She continues to stay on top of Wolfwood, eats a punch, flips her over into the headlock. Trying to slow down the pace of the match to do her favor. Tia gets out of it. Oh, getting caught with those elbow drops. Oh, Wolfwood scratching at the eyes. Again, scratching at the eyes. Jesus Christ. She is not done. Wolfwood giving it everything she's got to get this match in the back. Throws her down. Two. Oh, and Tia kicks out of it. She has got to get some offense in here, make a comeback if she wants to win this match. A Wolfwood staying on top of her. Climbing to the top rope here. Oh man, looking for something here. Here she goes. Oh! Catches the axe handle. Takes her down with the drop kick. This might have been the opening she needed. Two. Oh, and Wolfwood kicks out of it. Tia now going on offense. Kicks her in the gut. Sets her up. Butterfly DDT. Maybe for the last time. One. Two. Tia Blackheart keeping the offense going. She's got this matchup in the back. Climbing to the top here. Hit her with the headbutt. Now looking for something else in mind here. Knee to the head. Picking her up. This matchup is in her favor. Wolfwood catching her leg. Drops her with the clothesline. Wolfwood now going on offense, dropping the elbow. Oh man. Wolfwood sizing it up here. Here she goes, the hollow point connects. Oh, Matia back up quickly. Back and forth from the two. It's Wolfwood going after Tia's leg. Whitney trying to stay on top of Tia. She's got to do whatever she can to keep the momentum in her side. Drops her with the crossbody. Two. Tia Blackheart kicking out of it. Now scratching at the eyes. Looking to win this match by any means necessary. Tia getting back up. Probably a bad idea. Oh, gets out of it. He's looking for the dead shot. Eats a knee to the gut. Wolfwood now. Throwing her at the ropes. Drops her down. One. Two. And Tia once again kicking out of it. Showing there's still signs of life left in the Reaper. Wolfwood. Oh my God, what a moonsault. Wolfwood keeping the offense going. Calling for her to get up. Here she goes, looking for another hollow point connect. Does not capitalize, drops a headbutt. Another one. Keeping the offense going. Keeping this matchup firmly in her favor as she looks for the right move to keep her down. My God. Tia looking to capitalize. At least I thought Wolfwood dropping her down. T 
Tia Blackheart cannot seem to get the spec on Wolfwood here. And she drops her down again. Into the cover. I think she has her once again. Out of pure instinct, Tia Blackheart kicking out of it. She is showing that she has a hell of a lot of heart. Wolfwood now picking her up. Dead shot. Middle of the ring. Two. And again. Tia Blackheart kicking out of it. What does she have to do? Back and forth from the two. Wolfwood again. Picking her up. Dead shot connects. Maybe for the last time. And Whitney Wolfwood makes history. Holy shit. Here is your winner and the first ever Gold Star Champion, Whitney Wolfwood. If it was any other night, the chance so Tia Blackheart would have walked out of here with the win. But tonight, Whitney Wolfwood was the better woman. And now she walks out of here, a history maker, being the first ever Gold Star Champion. And with that win, the prophecy is complete. All three members of the Black Bull Militia now hold championship gold. The violence division is definitely in the hands of the militia. Oh man, well we thank you all for joining us tonight. But we have one final match to go. We're about to find the answer to the biggest dream match in the Trifecta Network. As Carlos Aragon, Bobby Bass, and John Beast were off in an explosive triple threat match. Your main event comes up next.
Bobby Bass made his HQ debut at the Borean Sprint in 2019. Making his presence shown in the semifinal round between Carlos Aragon and John Key. That day is the very day that these three crossed paths. Bobby Bass went on to become a thorn in the side of John Key throughout that entire year. Costing him matches, almost ending his career on multiple occasions. And it bottled up to the Battle of 1985, where Bobby and the Anomaly went one-on-one. -on -one. The fight for the time being ended there for those two. Then the attention went on to Bobby Bass and Carlos Aragon, where for two years straight the war between the two went into nuclear levels that are still going on to this day. But let's look at one thing that's probably in the back of the mind of Bobby Bass. And that is the fact that uh, between these three, Bobby is the only one that hasn't beaten Carlos Aragon or John P at this show. And that is something that's probably been eating him throughout the entire year. And tonight, it is his very last chance to change that. As he stated that this will be his retirement match. And tonight, he looks to go out with a bang by beating two of his greatest rivals. This is the Prodigy Swan Songs. And we're going to see if he can pull it off up next. John P. made his HQ debut at Birth of Anarchy when after Carlos Aragon's match, he went on the assault and attacked him backstage, costing him the match later on. John P. in a similar way of Bobby Bass entered the HQ targeting Carlos Aragon. Those two were back and forth up until the Battle of 1985 when they went to war in a 20-minute Ironman match with Carlos coming out with the win. John P. in the HQ has had a roller coaster of a career, but most notably, he became the Hell's Highest Honor briefcase holder, and at one point had his sights set on then champion Carlos Aragon. But he was looking at the bigger picture, and instead cashed in on Finn Balor to become the Intercontinental Champion, which then eventually turned into the Braveheart Championship. The Dead Heart is, without a doubt, one of the most sadistic most calculating people in all of the wrestling world. Something his two opponents know for a fact. John P coming in here looking for the win. And if the rumors are true, it might be his final win as well. This truly is gonna be an end of an era.
Carlos Aragon paying homage to a wrestling legend in Eddie Guerrero as he makes his way to the ring in his hometown crowd of El Paso, Texas. Carlos Aragon is one of the original eight in the HQ, being here since the show's very inception. The Overlord has won plenty of titles, faced plenty of opponents, but without a doubt, this is his biggest match of his entire career. A match that he has specifically said he has wanted for the last three fucking years. And tonight, we're finally getting it in the main event of what is going to be the biggest show in all of Hoopla's history. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. The cornerstones of XWS, UCC, the HQ, all come together for this special moment as the biggest triple threat match on the Trifecta Network takes place in a few short moments. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas, it's time for your trifecta triple threat main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of XWS, he is a lethal high-bridge striker hailing from the Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland. He stands six foot one inch tall and weighs in tonight at 215 pounds. He is the mastermind of the new generation and a former XWS World Heavyweight Champion. He is the Dead Heart, John B. inches and weighs in tonight at 275 pounds. He is the former UCC Universal Champion and the leader of the dangerous New Dawn. He is the prodigy Bobby Bam! Here's a heavy-handed brawler hailing from the Sun City, El Paso, Texas. Standing at 5 foot 11 inches and weighing in tonight at 206 pounds. He is the fighting pride of the Northeast side and former Hoopla World Champion. He is the Overlord, Carlos Aragon. years of battles and tonight is quite possibly the biggest main event we have had among all five Carlos Aragon versus John P versus Bobby Bass the prodigy the dead heart and the overlord this 
is what it's like when worlds collide. I have fucking goosebumps, man. This is the very definition of a big fight feel. And I'm excited to see what is going to happen next. All three of these men. Eyeing their competition. Looking to see who's going to make the first move. Aragon basking in this crowd. Oh my god! John P with the knee from out of nowhere! Getting the first blow of this match! Now standing in the ring, John P and Bobby Bass. Oh, hitting him with the knee shot to the head. Now where the, the match is on. John P going on assault. Laying in those blows. Bobby dropping him down. The trifecta triple threat match is underway. Bobby laying in those kicks on his hand. Staying on target as John P drops him down. Oh, but he reverses with those four on shots to the head. So far, it is anybody's matchup. Bobby dodging, trading blows here. Oh, kicks him in the gut. Oh, and a shining wizard from the dead heart. It's not done with the. Oh, my God. A hard knee. He is lethal with those knee shots, man. But Bobby catching up. Oh, a forearm to the back. Dropping him down. Bobby laying in those elbows. Hits him again. Bobby running full speed. Gets caught. Oh, a lethal combination. Wait a second. Oh, Aragon with the forearm from out of nowhere. Now getting his first taste in this matchup. And the crowd is unglued as he dishes out a flurry of strikes to John. Oh, and just with the knee as well. The Overlord starting out this match in a big way as he takes it to the dead heart. Throwing him into the corner. Oh, sending a flurry of blows to the dead heart. Picking him up. John taking him in the gut. Catching him. Oh, another combination there. And just like that on a dime, John P gets the momentum back in his favor. As he dishes out the damage to the Overlord. Picking him up. Hanging those shots. John P. A great striker. As he displays it against the Overlord. So far this match has been all the dead heart. As he continues to stand tall. Picking up Aragon. Hits him with the back fist. Oh, but Aragon fighting back. Oh, dishing out some blows himself. Aragon no slouch when it comes to striking as he lays in those punches on top rope. Bobby Bass lying in wait. Jumps off, drop kicks Aragon across the ring. Now picking him up, looking to dish out some damage himself. Focusing in on the Overlord. The Prodigy making a comeback into this matchup. Doing up some hammered fists into Aragon. Oh, now choking him out. The strength advantage is definitely in the favor of Bobby in this match. Whereas speed is with John. And I would say striking ability is with Aragon. But he is currently getting decimated by the prodigy. Bobby laying in those strikes. And answers with one of his own. Aragon looking to capitalize. Drops him with the knuckle part. 
Only on one count, though. Aragon trying to stay on top of him. Throws him at the ropes. Ducks under. Oh, hits him with the spear. Bobby now. Sizing him up here. We've seen this before. Calling for him to get up. Looking for that spear. Oh, my God. Eats a knee. Aragon. Seeing some deja vu here. Power bomb. Flips him over. Another knee to the head. Oh, but John. Oh, with the knee of his own. Poison Rana. Picking his time wisely as he looks to win this matchup. Oh, when he gets a two. John P. Picking the right moment to strike. Turns his attention to Bobby. Oh, God, he's felt this one before. Pulling back at the arms. Oh, my goodness. He might have him here. Two. Oh, and Bobby kicks out of it this time. John P. Laying in those punches, going on assault. Staying on top of the prodigy. John now. Grabbing at his hair. Putting him on the ropes. Oh, man. That's something big in mind here. Always oh, looking to fly. Hitting the rope. Oh! Aragon with the knee. Hitting the ropes himself. Oh! Does the suicide dive instead. Taking down the prodigy. Oh, my goodness. Now standing in the ring, John P. I. and Carlos Aragon. And you can cut the tension with the knife. Aragon climbing back inside the ring. This is the first time they've ever been face to face in almost three years. Oh, man. Aragon. Egging him on. Hits him with the slap. Edge with the punch. Trading blows. Back and forth. Oh my god, with the back fist. Edge with the right. John, flurry of strikes to Aragon. Oh, he's, he's asking for more. Aragon delivering with those hard gut punches. Oh, John answered with some strikes of his own. Aragon fighting back. Hits a one punch. Catches him again. Hard punch to the face. He's going to answer with something. Oh, poke to the eyes. Oh, but Aragon flipping him off. Letting him hear it. Gets caught. Oh, a knee to the head. And just like that, it dispatches him. As John, waiting for him to get up. Has something big in mind here. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, Aragon catching him. Middle of the ring. Sets him up in a modified lasso from El Paso. Wrenching backwards. John P. nowhere to go in the middle of the ring. It is not looking good for the dead heart. Miles away from either side of the ring. As Aragon continues to wrench back. Oh, he's getting tired. This might be John's opening here. Flips him over at a sheer willpower. The dead heart gets out of it. Oh, hits him with the punch. Another one. Third. Oh, but Aragon reverses, kicks him in the gut, sets him up, after life connects. That might be in here. Two. Oh, and John P kicks out of it. Out of sheer instinct, the dead heart kicks out. This crowd has 100% been on their feet throughout this entire match. And Aragon just basking in the glory here. Waiting for John P to get up. 
And Matt's eager to put his knee through John Knee's head. And he might do it here. Wait a second. Oh my god. Almost 10 feet in the air, Bobby Bass from out of nowhere. Looking to go after John himself. Here he goes. Spear connects. The prodigy picking his right time to strike as he climbs to the top. Oh man, I know what's coming next. Here he goes. Frog splash misses. John P looking to capitalize. Here he goes, sets him up. Dead hard driver. One, two. Oh my God. John P cannot believe it. I definitely cannot believe it. But this triple threat match continues and John P looking to win by any means necessary. Oh, he's got the bag. The weapon bestowed upon him by Angelo White. Bobby's very own protege now dishing out the damage to him. Oh my god. Just pelting him with the bat. Dear goodness. Oh, but Aragon from behind. Hits him in the back. Laying in those gloves, John P. Now fighting back. Oh, clawing at the eyes. Now the dead hard gain of some momentum. Hits the ropes. Aragon catching up. Oh my god. Two. Maybe looking for the third. Soul killer. But Bobby right there to take advantage. Bobby Bass might have just found the window of opportunity. Here he goes. Spear to John. Bobby, not done with him. The prodigy going through his greatest hits as he sets him up for a pen of three to John. But the man is not done. He's got one final thing in the chamber. Sets him up. Here he goes. Frog splash connects. One, two. Prodigy walks out of El Paso with the victory. Oh my god. Here is your winner, Bobby Bass. If it was any other time, in any other place, the match would have definitely ended up differently. But tonight, for the only time ever, Bobby Bass walks out of El Paso with the win over both Carlos Aragon and John P at the same exact time. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. This has been one hell of a ride. Carlos Aragon coming into the ring. Staring down the winner of the match. John P standing on the outside. Oh, making his way in. This truly is an end of an era. And it ends with these three standing in the ring. Crowd letting him hear it. Bobby waiting for some more. Well, John showing some respect to the winner. After a match like that, there is no doubt in my mind the level of respect between these three has just skyrocketed. There is no better way to end the night than with a feel-good moment. And tonight, we end this era 
with Carlos Aragon, Bobby Bass, and John P. standing tall in the middle of the ring in what really is the biggest battle in all of Hoopla's history. show comes down to a close, I'm going to level with you. Five years worth of battles. This is without a doubt my favorite one out of the bunch. On behalf of every single member of the Hoopla HQ, I thank you all deeply for joining us on this incredible ride. Throughout all the shows, throughout all the twists and turns, the potholes, the obstacles, we made it through it all. Tonight caps off what truly is an end of an era. Thank you all for joining us. Have a good night. And we look forward to bringing you another year of the Hoopla HQ.